The number of people crossing the EU borders is constantly increasing. In fact, by 2025, the total number of border crossings in Europe is expected to reach 887 million. This increase poses a major challenge for border control. Travellers demand a simple and speedy border crossing experience, while border guards have to fulfil their obligation to secure the EU's borders against irregular immigration and other threats such as terrorism and organised crime. The FastPass project serves both these needs by maintaining security at the highest level while increasing the speed and comfort of the border crossings for travellers. The project is funded by the European Commission under its seventh framework programme and brings together 27 different partners from across the EU. Its aim is to design and demonstrate a new approach to automated border control gates that is harmonised across different countries and different border types meaning it can be deployed in air, sea and land border scenarios. Additionally, it is modular, meaning that different components can be exchanged easily. FastPass has innovated in a number of technology areas, such as biometrics, video surveillance and passport scanning. The result is the next generation e-gate. This brings benefits to both border guards and travellers. For travellers, it means a fast and convenient border crossing. On the other hand, it allows border guards to spend more time on focusing on potential risks. Also, in developing the FASPA solution, the project has taken fully into account the ethical and legal implication of the developed technologies. FASPASS has been successfully trialled in three different border scenarios, air, sea and land. The air border demonstration took place at Vienna Airport. For the first step of the process, the passenger must register at an automated kiosk. The traveller's passport is presented to the system and a biometric face scan is taken. For third country nationals with a visa, a set of fingerprints is also taken. Once the passenger has registered, they effectively now have a token, enabling them to cross the border in the future with just a biometric scan with no need to re-register. The second part of the process is the e-gate, where the biometric scan is performed. If the biometric matches what they registered at the kiosk, the passenger is able to cross the border quickly. A key innovation in FastPass is that it removes the time-consuming document check from the e-gate. Having a paperless border control system helps reduce waiting times. The biometric check also includes advanced means of detecting counter-spoofing. This means the border guard is alerted to anyone attempting to trick the process, for example, with a photo or a 3D mask. Also, advanced video detection picks up any passenger attempting to piggyback behind another. Finally, the FastPass system surveys the area around the e-gate so that queues can be measured and managed more effectively and also detects any unusual behaviour. The FASPAS system helps us, the border guards, at Vienna Schwechert Airport a lot. It provides a very high level of standardised identity checks that helps us, the border guards, in dealing with the increasing passenger flows. So our border guard experts can now focus more on the high-risk passengers, whereas the low-risk passengers can move smoothly and quickly through the border check process. One of the advantages of FASPAS is that it's modular meaning the technology can be deployed in different border scenarios. The FastPass technology, used at an air border, has been adapted for use at sea borders, which often have large flows of foot passengers from ferries and cruise ships. The procedure is identical to the air border, with a kiosk to register, which could be on board the ship itself, and an automated e-gate. However, the e-gates have been modified to be portable, so they can be easily moved around the port. A successful trial was carried out at the port of Pérez in Greece. Finally, a third trial has been running at Moravica, a land border between Romania and Serbia, a non-EU country. Here, the technology has undergone a more substantial adaptation. At the kiosk stage, as well as the usual passport and biometric scans, vehicle documents are also required. Vehicles are then directed to an automated checkpoint. There is no need for the driver or passengers to exit the vehicle. Instead, the robotic terminals automatically locate the windows, avoiding any obstacles such as wing mirrors. The passengers simply offer their passport to the terminal through the vehicle windows. 
the terminal scans the passport and cross-checks with the biometric data. There is a button to alert a border guard if the driver encounters any problems. This is the first uh, time an automated e-gate has been uh, used at uh, a land uh, border. It's uh, had a real positive impact. It's now much easier to carry out uh, our checks and quicker for passengers to cross the border. The border can get uh, very busy and the new system will improve uh, the flow of traffic. FastPass has developed a harmonized automated border control solution for land, air and sea borders. Instead of developing three different systems for the three different border types, we have developed one single flexible platform that is adaptable to the different scenarios. The result is a blueprint for future ABC. This blueprint, together with innovative technologies, especially in land and sea borders, provides industry with new markets and new business opportunities. As we have seen in the three different demonstrations, the project has not only leveraged expertise in passport scanning, biometrics and video surveillance, but crucially it's brought them together into an integrated usable solution. So the beauty of the project is that the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. FastPass has translated cutting-edge innovative technology into a real-life commercially ready system that is harmonized across different countries and is easily adapted for use across air, sea and land borders. It's a unique solution that effectively answers the increased demand for fast, efficient and secure automated border controls.